Hey, all my crafty friends, it's Lee with a Turquoise Valentine, and tonight we are going to do part two of this little guy. Um, he is all dry, and we're going to paint him. So, y'all just come on in, have a seat. I hope if you're watching replay, thanks for watching, and we're going to get him all painted up. There's my, some people hopping on. Hello, my friends. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, and I hope I can see comments. We'll see. I'm going to sit here and pick out my paintbrushes. Hey, Luann, how are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Hey, Corina. Hey, Susan. All my friends are in the house. They're coming on. Yay! Y'all can come and have a seat, and let's try to paint this guy and make him look all pretty. Um, he's all white right now, but we are going to paint him and make him look super cool he's got to have on a cool painted outfit hey anna hey debbie hello everybody i'm just trying to get out my little paint brushes that i'm gonna need hey peggy and debbie and barbara da -da -da -da. barbara everybody's in the house um so i'm just trying to look some of these are just <laughs> left in the water a little too long and the paint came off hey cindy and pamela and gala hello everybody so I'm just picking out some paint brushes. Paint brushes. Look at that one. Dried funny. Hey Arlene and Carly. Hello, Sheila. Sheila, I got your message today and somebody else told me the same thing that the clay is 40% off. Yes, I've got to go this week and get some. Hey Molly and Wendy and Becky, hello. Hello, Jill. Y'all come on in and let's get painting. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to start, I'm going to start trying to sand him up. <laughs> you wouldn't miss a shenanigan. Susan, I hope, <laughs> I hope it don't go off the rails, last, which was hilarious last week, okay? Um, hey, BJ. Hey, Shirley. Y'all, I'm going to, y'all just know that my allergies are going to go crazy because I'm going to sand this a little bit and smooth it out. So, I'm going to create a lot of dust. Hey, Loretta. Ready for part two. It's good to see y'all too. I hate, I missed last night. My son had um, Meet the Tigers where they call out all the band members, the football players, the cheerleaders, and all the people. Um, hey, Donna and Nancy, Yvonne. And I, y'all know I don't like to miss. Um, I don't like to miss and not be here when I'm supposed to be. Hey, Becky and Jan and Linda. Hello. Hello, my people. Y'all come on in. You're not missing anything. We're just getting started. For the stand tall and shine on the biscuit sunflowers, how big were the stamps? I think they're... Oh. I don't know, but we'll see. Hey, Tammy. You're here on time. Hey, Susan and Annie. I'm trying to measure these. <laughs> Annie. <laughs> hey, Susan and Christine. Y'all are a hoot. I'm telling you. Y'all are a hoot. Um, The S, like, the, they're, the S is capital. It's three-fourths of an inch. And then, of course, the A is a little smaller. Blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. That's how big they are. But you just do you. You do what you got and do your size. Hey, Christy. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, yeah, I, would, I didn't want to miss that because, you know, it's his senior year. This is his last hurrah. So, I'm definitely gonna, not going to miss. Hey, Lynn, where did you pick up your clay? I get mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I did exactly what I told y'all not to do. You know, I took a picture of the little guy last week with the block of clay sitting beside him so everybody would know. Um, thank y'all for that. Hey, Ruthie. Hey, Corby. And, um... This package is open. So what did Lee do? Lee left it open, and this this much of my clay, just this little pot top part, is hard. <laughs> but this is the the um the clay, and I get it at Hobby Lobby, but Michaels has it, Amazon has it, but it is just air dry clay. It is uh, white looking. Um, I know Susie, but I do because. When I'm not here and I know that I'm supposed to be here, you know, when you're, when you're, I've been doing this for three and a half years, you kind of like, this is where I'm supposed to be. I just feel bad and I feel bad about changing because 
I'm just somebody that if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it kind of deal. And I know that life happens. Hey, Jalen. Hey, Rhonda. Um, oh, no. Susan, you did, the, did it and it cracked. I know. And that's, I've had it happen to me. And that's why I only buy that clay. Because that clay's never cracked on me. And um, it's, it's very disappointing when you work so hard on something and then it cracks on you. And you're like, oh. For clay, unless you get it on sale, Amazon's cheaper. Thank you for that, Kelly. Because, you know, at this day and time, we some people don't have a Hobby Lobby, so they have to get it at Amazon or wherever. But at Hobby Lobby this week, the clay is 40% off. I, I believe it's what two different people messaged me today and told me that. And I was like, ooh, that's good to know because I need to go myself and get some. So all I'm doing is sometimes when you drag that little thing through the clay, it... um. Tina, I'm in your car. <laughs> uh, we're just riding along and I'm chatting. Uh, hey, Barbara. Hey, Karen. Yes, I should always lace and pearls. I should always go with my child. Yes, exactly. He He's not going to be a kid for much longer. He's, he, he's getting there. But I'm just kind of taking my little sander and just sanding down some of the little rough spots. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to get in his little, his little eye sockets and the nose piece. And some little, maybe little bumps and stuff that were kind of a little sharp edges, maybe. Just kind of get it all smooth. Hey, Judy. And I, I can also take like a little fingernail file and get in those little holes if I need to. And smooth some of those little places down that may have been kind of sharp looking. But he looks pretty good. But you can do that to this clay. It's just gonna it's gonna sand off like it was plaster or something like that. And it makes dust. <laughs> I'm trying to get my heavy white. Hey Tammy. You used the blue packet and it didn't work good. I don't know what kind of blue pack it is, but Okay, you used spackle and fix them. See, that's what I did on my gnomes that cracked. I used some other kind of clay. I wanna say it was clay at Walmart I bought. And I, it cracked, and I used uh, caulk or something, spackling, to fix them, and I kept them for myself. But um, I just didn't want that to happen again. Okay, so let me show y'all the jar from Dollar Tree in reference to this one. So this was the pineapple spear jar, if y'all remember. Hey, Angela. Hey, Melinda. Um, yay, Carol made her pumpkin. So this was the jar that I found at Dollar Tree. There's the little label. Um, this was the pineapple spear jar that I got from Sam's. Um, that I ate the pineapples out of and have the jar left and didn't want to throw it away. Um, yeah, okay, Ramona says they're 40, it's 40% 40 off the clay is. And I'm going this week to get some because I need some more. Hey, Colin. That's my oldest son. Um, hey, Shelby. So this is the Dollar Tree jar. So just so y'all can see the reference... It's a little smaller, and what I was thinking about, let me put the lid on so you can really tell. Um, what I was thinking about is making another one out of this jar and having like a little set, a pair. Um, so that's what I want to do with him, and that way they'll match because this one is square and rounded just like this jar was. So I think it'll be really cool. Never found any jars. Patricia, you can use any jar you want to. It doesn't have to be this jar or that jar. It can be any jar. Um, let's see. Like these, I think, were Target Dollar Spot. You could use any kind of jar, and it has, if it has a lid on it, do it like I did and cover the lid. Um, and so it doesn't have to be this jar or whatever. Like this jar was the one I was going to do to begin with, and it has like a tall little spout, like a decanter. Um, and I did figure this out, and I forgot to show you all this. So, you can, you know these little bowls that you get at Dollar Tree, um, like this? These little rounds that I use for the wreath holder and other things that I've used these for, you get them at Hobby Lobby or any craft store, they will go on just like this. So, you can find something round to make your top, or you could cover the whole thing with, like, masking tape. And then do the clay on top of that or, or aluminum foil. And that way you, you still wouldn't be able to put anything in it. But y'all could do, you could do a piece of cardboard as your top and make your stem and cover it in aluminum foil and then cover it with clay. You'd never know. So you could, you know, just get creative with it with whatever you have or any kind of jar you have. 
like, um, where's my, here it is. This is my jar I roll my clay out <laughs> with. This was a salsa jar. It'd be super cute. When I did this before, I did it in little bitty jars. And this one I did big this time because I wanted, this was the jar I wanted to do something with. Um, I'm just reading what y'all are saying. So we're going to try to paint this guy. And I, I'm just, I don't even have a rhyme or reason. I am just going to put on some paint, put, put all kinds of different colors. I want to do, um, dark oranges. I don't want to do him non-traditional. I'm kind of doing traditional. Oh, my hair, Judy, I just, I washed it, but I didn't even do the little curl. I just left it straight. Thank you. Um, yes, the Goodwill or Goodwill Owl, it's a good place to find jars. Even just a mason jar is fine. Here's the little, my little leaf. And I did leave it here and let it dry. So it's still kind of bent to the lid like it was. Y'all laugh at my stem. <laughs> um, oh, the kids saw yours and wants to make yours, uh, wants to make them. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Um, so anyhow, so we're going to paint this. It's going to be super cool, but I got to show y'all this first because I don't know if I showed y'all this. Well, I don't know why I put that lid back on. I got to show you how it's going to look with a light in it. It's going to look so cool. Um, it's, I know it's bright, y'all, but this is going to look so cool. Once he's all painted and lit up, um, use black and then pounce on your gold and orange. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've seen Mandy, so I'm going to channel my inner Mandy, my friend Mandy at Western Grace Home Decor. She loves to layer paint. And so I'm going to try and I'm going to layer a whole bunch of colors. Uh, hey, Susanna. Okay. So I have probably got every color of paint out here that is in relation to what I want to do. Like dark oranges, copper. I have all the, I don't need, well, it's red. I don't know why I picked that one up. But I have like terracotta, I have any kind of brown that I thought I might need, spiced carrot, um, burnt orange. I'm probably going to start with a burnt orange. Uh, Marcia, I wouldn't put him outside. I, that's just me. I just wouldn't. Oh, Suzanne, I miss you too. I need to come down and see y'all. The little round dollar store container upside down. Yes, you could do that too. Or you could do this upside down. It, it, you, either way you do it, you can, a teal would be pretty. Do this any color you want to, y'all. This is yours. So do it whatever color. I'm going to do mine, um, what color I want. I saw somebody say, hey, Mandy, this is Burnt Orange by Deco Art. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm probably going to add, y'all know I like to mix my colors. So I'm going to add just a little titch of brown. Um, I know y'all couldn't see a good lit up, but I promise y'all we did it today, me and Dorothy. And it looks so good without this light shining on it. It looks really cool with the light in it. Um, hey, Jill. So I'm going to mix a little bit of this real brown in my burnt, is it burnt orange? That was not enough. <laughs> hey, Susan. So I'm putting just a little bit more. And this is folk art, real brown. And it, you know, it's kind of thick. So y'all know I have a conglomeration of paint and I'm just gonna use, I'd use all kinds of brands. I would love to stick to one, but it's hard sometimes when I see a pretty color that I like. There's like a gob of something in this paint. Hey, I didn't, Belvy, hey Belvy, hey Pam. Let me put a little more, cause y'all know when I did, when I did this one, I started out with that burnt orange and it was really, 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 um, a little too orange for me. So I'm trying to tone it down. Hey Debbie, if I miss saying hello to you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, I try to catch everybody, but sometimes it's hard when I'm looking down and I can't catch everybody's comment. All right, so that kind of gave it a little bit it still looks bright in the camera, but it's not as bright. So I'm going to give that a good coat, and then I'm going to, I'm just going to start putting on some different colors. But it's 
gonna be he's gonna be super pretty when we get done because I'm not just gonna paint him one color I'm gonna do like a bunch of little different colors and see what we can come up with hey Lori and I'm gonna try to accent all of those little lines as well so I'm just getting right up to the edge you know where my clay is this is the kind this is kind of the easy part I mean it is but it's not because then it's just it's hard to decide what color to paint him. <laughs> so I'm now I'm trying to get in here where you know inside of the eyes. I'm probably gonna do that part last with a small paintbrush. Hey Linda, hello. If I miss saying hello to someone, I'm sorry. I tried. Um. Hey, Mary from Petal, you're not too far from me, just a few hours away, still in Mississippi though. So look, he's he's coming along. Gotta get him. He's gonna be totally transformed from this white, which I like the white. Mandy said, oh, I thought you were gonna leave him white. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna paint him. We're gonna, we're gonna give him some character and some detail and uh, do like my friend and try to do some layers, but I can't do it as good as Mandy can. <laughs> I don't think anybody can do it as good as she does. She does she does lots of layers of paint, which gives it lots of depth, and her projects look amazing. Some everybody's good at something, and that is what she is good at. And I'm not as good. I guess maybe I'm not as patient as Mandy is when it comes to that. Um, oh, Patricia, you're cleaning your craft room. Well, good luck to you. Um, you're gonna probably find a bunch of things that you didn't know that you had or forgot that you bought and get them out of the bags that you bought them from. <laughs> hey, is it Janine from Michigan? Hello, everybody. Hey, Jane. So, um, I was gonna tell y'all something and I can't remember what it was. I told y'all about the clay. Oh, if somebody is on here, <laughs> this is going to sound really crazy. Um, if somebody is on here that messaged me, like, in the last few days and told me that they got the gingerbread gnome, that, you know, my little cutout gingerbread gnome, he's over there, and they were missing their gingerbread feet. If that was you, please message me again because I'm telling you, you can ask Dorothy. I have wrecked my brain today because normally when you send me a message and, and it's something like that, I usually screenshot the message and save it so I'll, I'll look through my pictures and I'll know what I got to do. Um, and I, I have them over there. They're wrapped and ready to go. But for the life of me, I don't know who it was. I don't guess I thought I screenshot the message, but um, I guess I did not. So if that was you and you're missing some gingerbread feet for your gingerbread man, please message me. <laughs> You'll know if it's you. That's a crazy request, but uh, I said, well, I'm just going to have to say something on the live tonight because I, I'm at a loss. Um, so message me and tell me if that was you or not. I'm just put nutmeg in this paint. It's not real brown. I grabbed nutmeg instead, but we're going to go with it because we're going to do some stuff on top of this probably. Can't even tell I put any in there, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, and I should have put this bottle right back on top. Oh, getting paint on me. Come on. Y'all know this thick. Hope 40 people say it was me. <laughs> Cecile, <laughs> you're funny. So I'm going to be mailing gingerbread feet to 40 people. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Some things get left out sometimes. Oh, Tina, you worked on your home sign? I got, mine's over here to paint. I hadn't even got that far. Um, Cecile, <laughs> don't. <laughs> okay, Debbie, Debbie Cook. Okay, good. Yes, please message me um, and let me make sure I've got the right person because <laughs> I'm telling you, I sat here today and Dorothy's like, well, you're just going to say something tonight on your live because we don't know who it is. <laughs> Usually, okay, me, 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 Debbie Morning Cook. Okay, okay, it's Debbie. I, I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened today. I was just like, I know I just looked at that message, and then now I can't find who it is. Um, 
Charlene, I, I was supposed to be on last night, but my son had um, Meet the Tigers. He's on the football team, and they announced all the players and all the band and the cheerleaders and the soccer team. And my stepson's on the golf team. He got announced, too, and we have to go to that. So, um, anyway, so that's where I was last night, and so I had to go to that because my son and my stepson was there. He's on the golf team. And so I had to go, and they announced, like, all the players, you know, all that good stuff. Because this is his last year in football. Last year. This mama right here has been praying for a child on the football field since 2006. Because that's when Colin started playing football when he was, like, little bitty. When he was in the third grade, he started playing football. So I've had somebody playing football since 2006. And there's been a lot of prayers that's been said <laughs> over that time, over my children for that point, for that being because um, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, you're scared to death they're gonna get hurt. And, you know, we all know that there's can be some bad injuries in football. And so, yeah, it's always scary for anybody. And we always pray for all the kids, but uh, if you're a mom and your kid play football, you know. How did his parking spot turn out? Well, he's still got some touches to do to it. And when we went last night, I told my husband, I said, I've got to come over here one evening and I've got to ride through the park a lot and make a video for all of you so y'all can see um, all of the artwork that these kids do on these parking spots because some of it is just fantastic. I'm just like, wow, <laughs> that they spend that much time doing that. I, Tammy, I know, and, and my boys love football, and I just was like, Lord, you're just going to have to help me because I'm just going to have to pray them through it. That's all I know. Yeah, wrestling and rugby, we don't have any of those at our school. I mean, all sports are hard for, for sure, but when you're hitting another person with your body, <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's just, you know, you're hitting other people with your body. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. And neck injuries are so common in football. And it scares the day, daylights out of me. Yeah, Colin had a concussion. Vicki, I've been through that. My oldest son had a concussion his senior year of high school. Um, and missed out on his senior... His He was starting center. Missed out on his spot because it was... Um, it happened before they actually started playing. So he was out of out of it for six weeks. And yeah, he didn't get to... He didn't get to start, and he missed. He lost his position. Okay, so here is Mr. Spookley, whatever his name is, so far. So that's still wet, so you see how it looks. I missed a few spots, but it's okay, because I'm going to uh, paint. Um, let me do this. I'm going to whew, put on some more colors. Y'all see? Y'all can't take me anywhere. I'm going to have paint everywhere hopefully not on my shirt but it'll be okay if i do i'll get it out yay you finished your nativity and you're starting on the snowman hey marcia i am i hope you are too let me mix me a little bit so this like i said is burnt orange i gotta paint the top too i almost forgot that part and this is real brown um he's gonna go to college um I'm not really sure if he knows exactly what he wants to do, but, you know, he's got to take his basics and stuff first. Oh, goodness. Stitches in his head. Yeah, rugby's rough, too. Don't they Don't they have... It's like football, isn't it? Or do they have... No. Do they have, like, little sticks or something? In, I'm not real familiar with rugby, so y'all got to tell me. Oh, goodness. Soccer player. It's just so scary because stuff can happen and... They can have heat strokes and everything else. And so, put a little bit more. I got it a little dark. But, um, come back over here and finish getting these little spots. But, I'll get them. Because they're just little dents in the clay that I missed. But, I also got a paint inside of his eyes. And, that's the fun part. I'm just reading y'all's comments about y'all painting the pieces. Um... So, today's post that I made, I don't know if y'all read it. It was like a whole novel. <laughs> um, sometimes, we're just going to talk about it. 
while I'm sitting here painting. So see, I'm painting around where my stem, you'll see in a minute, the little, the little roots from the stem come out. I'm painting around those because I'm going to paint those a brown and make it look realistic. The little chickens, you're painting the chickens. Um, so I made a post this morning, and I don't know if you saw it, and if you didn't see it, you can go back and read it. But it was a small novel, and I said, you know, some people aren't going to read it all the way to the end, and that's okay. Um, but sometimes I just get stuff on my heart, and I just want to talk about it. Um, and I just got to get it out. And I was talking to Mandy on the phone this morning, and I was just... I was just all up in my, all up on my soapbox this morning, and she'll tell you I was. Um, Erica, it is DOS clay, air dry clay. Oh, y'all, it's heavy. It's DOS air dry clay. I get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, Robin, <laughs> stop. Robin's getting in trouble. Uh, anyway, no, Nancy, okay, so let, I should have clarified, I guess, a little bit. It's not that anybody was mean to me, okay? I just see it a lot. I see, um, I see it a lot. I see a lot of people blasting people out when people are mean. You know, and that's, that's on them, okay? I'm not saying, you know, one way or the other if it's wrong or not. It's just something I'm not going to do, Okay. So, if somebody comes on my page and they leave an ugly comment, I'm not just going to clap back at them um, because, like, I said everything this on, on that post to say that, you know, there was a time three and a half years ago. Uh, so, see how I'm painting around those little, I don't know what they're called. Uh, oh, gosh, Sandy, that sounds terrible. Oh. <gasps> Yes, Corby, and I'm, I'm not apologizing, but I want, you know, I just kind of want to clarify a little bit, but um, when I started this page three and a half years ago, you know, I, I knew everything that goes along with, uh, with it. You know, you're putting yourself out here on the internet, um, divots. <laughs> um, yeah, it is hard, Vicky. A lot of times it is, um, but anyway, so... You know, I can remember just, you know, wanting to get out, get seen, be out there, um, teach, be able to teach people and teach people to be creative and share all of what I have learned in the last 40-something years that I've been crafting with all of you, okay? And so, I can remember just, just wanting to get past three people watching me or family members watching me and all this, and I can remember that. Well, I am where I what I prayed for three and a half years ago, okay? I wanted to come home. I wanted to be at home so our boys, if I needed anything, they needed anything, that I would be right here and I could take care of it or whatever. Uh, I was burnt out at my, at X-raying. That's what I did for 27 years. And um, I saw a lady named Brooke Riley online and she was talking about her coaching group. Well, I joined her coaching group and she's opening up, her coaching group is open right now. Um, oh no, Charlene. Rest. See, we don't have wrestling here. It's not a thing in the South, I don't think. But yeah, it's, it's, it can be violent too because you're like slamming people's bodies on the ground. Um, so anyhow, and I joined her coaching group, which is open. And if you're interested in joining her business coaching group, um, I love it. I'll never leave it. And uh, you can message me and I can get you the link to, to her group. But anywho, um, so, you know, I knew that when you put yourself out here in front of people, that people are going to, there's going to be lots of good things. And I, I could sit here all night and still not list all the good things that has happened to me since I am doing what I'm doing. All right, so there's my lid. So, see, I'm going to paint that brown. Um, but anywho, I got to paint where my thumb <laughs> okay so um i forgot what i was saying i forgot what i was saying <laughs> um it's gonna come to me in a second anyway and i knew everything that went with it that i was gonna get um oh sadie hey welcome 
So I'm just taking this little flat paintbrush and I'm gonna paint inside of his eyes. Y'all see all that? Uh, Linda, it is burnt orange. I'm mixing all kinds of concoctions. Yes, Karen, and it wasn't anybody that was mean. I just see a lot of it on other people's pages and I see a lot of, um, you know, other people being mean to friends of mine or saying mean things or what have you. But, you know, and all the good that has come out of my page and I'm blessed beyond measure because I've met people like all of you who come here and chit chat with me and we talk about stuff and we laugh. I would never have any of that had it not be for this. Um, and I'm so blessed. I'm blessed to be able to bring joy to people and that I can share my talent or whatever you want to call it <laughs> with people that I would never meet any or any other way. Um, so if it wasn't for this platform, but I also knew I didn't really know how good it could get. Okay. I didn't know I was going to be as blessed as I was. I didn't know that I was, it was just going to be, uh, you know, I didn't, I just didn't had no clue of how good this was going to get. And, but I also knew the bad would come. I knew that there would be people who were going to hurt my feelings and who was going to say things and who were going to, uh, try to tear me down. Um, and think that they can do it better than me and they've never done this. Because it is, it is a task, okay? I'm talking to a phone that I'm looking at my own face. There's nobody in this room but me and I'm having to talk to y'all like y'all are sitting right here. It, it takes a lot, of, a lot of learning how to do that. Um, so, anywho. So, and I knew the bad would come. And so, you have to always know that when there's a good thing that happens then you're, you're going to get some bad. It, it's, it's just going to happen, okay? Um, like, for instance, somebody in one of the comments said, well, look at Jesus. You know, he's, he's God Almighty, and still people try to tear him down. And that's so very true. But, so you're going to have to understand that the bad is going to come in anything that you do, not just what I do, but anything. There's going to be a bad something that's going to come out of it. Hey, Crystal. And so you have to be prepared when that does come. And some things, you know, it can't prepare you for. Um, I've had people say, oh, you talk too much. And, oh, you do this. And, oh, you do that. And, oh, you need to do this. And, you know, they've never done a live before. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, so... And why people have to stop and be mean, I don't know. But I'm just, I've gotten thick skin over the last three years. And there's been some times where, like I said, I'll get on the covers. I don't want to come out. And I want to cry because somebody said something ugly. And luckily, it's not often. I will say that. It's not often. Um, all right, see my eyes? Look how much better it looks because I'm getting in there. Don't worry about all that stuff in there because we're going to clean that all up. But see how much better it looks because I'm painting the inside of that clay? Um, so anyway, so I just know that it's going to come, but to, I said all that to say that even, even on the bad days, it's worth it to me. Um, even when somebody makes a negative comment and I dwell on it and I get upset about it or whatever, um, it's still worth it. 155%. Um, it's still worth it. So we have to try not to let, because you know that one negative comment can erase a thousand good ones. And that's how we are as humans. And I don't know why we're that way. Um, but we are. Y'all know that. I mean, you can walk into a room and 25 people go, oh my gosh, that's the, that's the cutest outfit I have ever seen. And then you get one person that goes, that is God awful ugly. And that one comment is going to ruin it for you. It's the same thing. It's the same way. But for you to clap back at them and say something ugly back, you're instantly going to regret it, number one. Been there, done that. I know y'all have too. And, uh, you know, it's you're going to regret it. And it's not, it's just, I don't know. I just don't. So if anybody wants to come bash me, bash me. It's not like I hadn't heard it before. I've heard I've talked too much my whole entire life. But 
a lady once told me years ago, she said, honey, that's your gift. And the devil tried to teach you or tell you for, from a very young age that you talk too much because he's trying to shut you up and he don't want you to talk. So you just keep on talking and you just keep on doing your gift because that's your gift. And I was like, whoa, that was heavy. Um, <laughs> he laughed along with everybody. I did too. And everybody's still laughing about it. It's so funny. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some laughter tonight when I have to paint the stem. Robin, it's a stem. <laughs> um, yeah, people can text negative stuff, but they would never say it to your face. But it still hurts, and they still took the time to do it. But, you know, I'm just like, I'm just going to laugh and carry on with my day because I can't complain because I asked for this, okay? I knew it going in. I knew going in that it was, it was, it would be, there would be bad days and they can't be all good. And that the people were going to attack you or whatever. And I'll tell you what, you get on TikTok and make a video on TikTok and you're going to get people, um, <laughs> stem Robin. <laughs> um, thank you, Lynn. But I didn't say all that today for y'all just to talk about how, you know, that I was wonderful and all that. I really didn't. I just basically meant it to say that just because somebody, you know, you have the good, you're going to have to have the bad with it, and you need to be prepared for the bad, because no matter what you do, you're going to have bad along with the good, the bitter with the sweet, you're just going to have to have it, it's just part of life, and you just need to be prepared when it does come, and um, just know that it's coming, and just kind of try to head it off before it comes, and be like, I'm not going to let it bother me, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, y'all, because I can let one comment ruin my whole day if I if I see if I choose to. Okay, so there, there he is. See, it's all inside of his mouth for the most part. It's all painted. Um, <laughs> Bonnie, I try. I can chat with anybody. I'm chatting with a a light and a phone stand right now, and I'm I'm doing pretty good. But all y'all are on the other side of that. But I can't see you. But you know it's. Sometimes it's it's harder than others. Some are some in your inner south and give and bless your heart, right, Jeannie? <laughs> um, but okay, so I'm gonna clean up. I got it on the glass, but we're gonna fix all that. You was wondering if the stem's gonna take center stage. Well, we're gonna paint it after it stuck to my paper. I'm gonna let him dry. And we're gonna add some more stuff to him. Well, I don't know. Let me finish the pumpkin first. All right, so. But anyway, so you have to keep, yeah, you have to keep evolving, and um, I do believe that, Dana, but, you know, just, I just don't like when people blast people out, like, oh, so-and-so left an ugly comment on my page, and, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to be nice. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all, because that doesn't make it right. And if they want to come bash me, because somebody wants to come bash me, bash me. I mean... It's something I hadn't never, it's not that I hadn't heard anything before, you know, hadn't heard that before. Okay. Yeah, sorry you're having a bad day. Bad day. It's like, are you okay? <laughs> somebody, somebody get up in your face and start hollering at you. Just look at them and go, are you okay? <laughs> I mean, but people will find something negative to say about you. Okay, now y'all know I'm going crazy because now I'm going to go back in with this bright orange. Am I calling the stem a hymn? Did I say that? Did I say that out loud? It's a stem. Stem. S-T-E-M. Stem. My southern southernness is showing. Haters gonna hate. That's right, Becky. And I, I haven't had anybody say anything ugly, so that wasn't what the whole post was about. It was just basically that you just gotta take the good with the bad. It can't always be good. It's not always gonna be good. You're gonna have to take both. And when you accept the good there's going to be some bad too. That's basically what I was trying to say and that I would, I would take all the bad there was, you know, to do what I do because I love what I do and, um, I just, I'm not going to complain. Okay. Because that's part of this. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a movie star or something like that. They can't go in public. They can't do any of these things, and because they're famous and people recognize them in public. Now, I'm not saying that I'm on that level by any stretch, okay? 
Um, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But they knew that was part of the territory when they took on the job, right? They knew that, that that lifestyle was going to change. Um, so it's kind of the same thing. Oh, Jamie, since my first video. I try to be the same. I just, I'm just humble. I just try to be humble. Um, oh, this is a... <laughs> This is a car wash sponge from the Dollar Tree. This is all I have left of it. It's like really big. It's a car wash sponge. And I just snipped stuff off. And y'all see I got the bright orange again. But I'm going to get some of that dark orange. We're just play we're just going to play, y'all. We're just going to sit there. Um, and I'm just going to try to sort of, I don't know. We're going to give him a little bit of, and y'all going to see how I'm sponging that on. And it's going to get... Um, <laughs> Vicky, you'd be a fangirl. Girl, I'm just like your next door neighbor. I promise you. Um, I just, I mean, I'm just like anybody else. I promise. I have bad days. I have good days, and just like you do. And I get upset over things, just like y'all do. And um, but I don't know. I just, I just, I'm not gonna blast anybody out. It's like they want to say ugly. That says more about them than it does about me. All right. So see how it's kind of. I'm, I'm adding it back. You would want us to be friends? I would be friends with y'all. I promise I would be. Uh, where was I the other day? The last time I was in Hobby Lobby, a lady said, your face is familiar. I know who you are. I, I know who you are. And I, I, I can't put my finger on it. And when I told her, she was like, oh my gosh, yes. She said, I've seen you craft before on Facebook. <laughs> and I was like, yep, that's me. Yeah, I, I mean, I am. I'm just kind of down to earth, and I don't, I don't know. If I won the Mega Millions tonight, y'all, I promise y'all I'd be just like I am right now. I'd be exactly the same person. I don't think I would, you know, I might would travel and do some stuff, but I don't think I would, I don't know. I'd just be ground. I'd still be grounded. I just would. I'd still be the same person I've always been. Donna, we're already friends, right? I'm friends with all y'all. Y'all are all my besties. Okay, so see how he's kind of looking? I know y'all thinking, well, why does she paint him dark if she's gonna paint him white back over it? Autograph and a selfie. Y'all get my autograph. If you order something from me, you get my autograph every time because I sign those when I'm getting ready to pack the order. I, that's what I do while my little shipping thing is going. I, I have like a little system that I do. Um, if she wins, she's quitting. <laughs> yep. I can see that. I, I don't know. I probably would take a little hiatus and then I would, I don't know. I could not craft though. I'm telling y'all right now. <laughs> and I couldn't give up all y'all, right? Y'all are my friends. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Y'all are sweet. And like I said, that post this morning, I didn't intend for it to be like, oh, you're just so wonderful. I didn't intend for that to be like that, but, um, because I just wanted everybody to realize that when you have the good, you are, you got to take the bad too. It's just part of the package. It's, you can't choose one or the other. And I'm not ever going to complain. Like, sure, I complain to myself or to good friends or whatever. And I complain about, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, I have those days. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm saying I never would want it to all go away because I, because of that. Is that, I guess that's what I'm saying. I could buy a fabric store. I could start my own fabric chain, like, store. Because, you know, we, we need other other avenues. Oh, that looks like poo-poo right there, y'all. That looks like poo-poo. Look at it. <laughs> I didn't mix that brown. And I got too much brown in my just straight brown. And that looks like baby poo-poo. <laughs> I can't have my pumpkin looking like that. Golly, that's ugly. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that was ugly. Um, so, yeah, let me... <laughs> no, I'm not going to... I promise. I just... You know what? I would just get me a um, an RV or something and hire somebody to drive me around the country. And I would just stop and see all y'all. That's what I do. That's what I do. We just have crafting across the country. Something like that. That's what we would do right there. Maybe after I went to Bora Bora or somewhere fantastical like that. Okay, got to fix that poo-poo spot. 
office in the house. Been friends since the office. Oh, since I was in the house. Yes, when I had my crafting room outside in the house. Okay, I'm fixing fix the poo-poo spot, but now it's bright. Got to tone that back down some. Okay. But y'all know how pumpkins look. They don't look um, uniform and... They're all kinds of, they got dirt on one side, and they got a bad spot on one side. Yeah, it's a craft retreat, and I'll just, I'll just fly y'all all out somewhere, and we'll go craft. Are y'all, can y'all hear me? <laughs> Sue's got an RV. Okay, we're just going to have a convoy of RVs, Sue. How about that? We'll just have us a little convoy going across the country in our, our crafting RVs. All right, so I'm just spongy sponging. I hope Mandy's proud that I'm layering all my paint like she taught me. Because I try to watch her and pay attention. But, you know, she does a lot better than I do. Uh-oh. Okay, so y'all can hear me. Somebody else can't hear me. Let me talk louder. I can talk loud. <laughs> now everybody's going, oh my gosh, she's killing it. Loud and clear. You were watching your favorite. Okay, Trudy, who do you watch that cross stitches now? I didn't know you could watch people cross stitch on, on something. What, who are you watching? Y'all, did y'all hear that Carol Duvall died last week? She was 97. What? I'm like, oh, no, not Carol Duvall. Oh, my gosh. She was like the Betty White of Crafting. Crafting cruise. Yes, we're talking now, Linda. We're going on a crafting cruise. That right there, I cannot. I'm trying to get all these little white spots. I'm trying, trying, trying. Okay, Wendy can hear me. Maybe it's just somebody's connection or something. Y'all heard me when I hollered, though, didn't you? <laughs> Carla can hear me. Brenda can hear me. Marsha can hear me. Okay, I'm back. almost back around to this side. I'm trying to get all these ugly little spots that I... The little white spots in my clay... Trying to get all of them. Okay, so he's looking. So see, I just put that that lighter shades right on top of that dark. I see some right there. And if you get it too light, just kind of get some of your darker color and kind of dab it on in and get it to blend in. But I still have these white little specks I'm trying to cover. But I'm going to go in the lines and I'm going to, we're going to accent, accent those little lines there. Little League World Series. Yeah, they should go out and come back in. Yes. If they are having trouble, maybe it's... Somebody said my mouth and my words were not syncing up, so maybe that's... We'll fix that. Okay. All right, but let's get him some more light on the front because I feel like the front's dark now, but it's dried, so... But just use like a lighter shade of orange and a darker shade of orange and then a kind of a brown or something. And you can do the same what I'm doing. I'm just trying to give him a little depth of it looks like a real pumpkin. Oh, from Australia. Oh! Yeah, uh, Vicky, I, had, I recorded her every day on VHS tape. I sure did. And I would watch it in the evenings to see what she did that day. And I loved her show. And God love her. She was 97. I did not realize, I guess. Well, if she's 97, how old is Aline? Because I used to watch her too. Her and her daughter. That's been many moons ago, y'all. But Carol Duvall, yes, yeah, she died. Okay. So, I'm, I'm getting to where I'm kind of happy with him. See how he just kind of looks all splotchy? and. But I got to do my top. So, see the difference? This is kind of a dark, burnt-looking color, and then this is um, Big Brother. I don't watch Big Brother. I've never watched it. My mother used to love to watch that show, and I never watched it. A Craft and Fantasy Island. Ooh, that would be cool. What else did I have? Oh, this was Spice Carrot, if y'all were wondering what that light color was. I would think the same. You see, Darla, I think so too. I think, I, I mean, she's got to be right there with her. And I, I and I, I don't know. I think she's passed away. I can't remember, y'all. My memory's failing me right now to remember 
if, oh, I gotta mix that brown or I'm gonna be in trouble again. It's gonna look like poo poo again. Okay, because I thought, well, I just put the brown on there straight like that. Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. Nancy, I don't think there are, and it's really sad because I think people, a lot of people watch that. You took your earbuds out because <laughs> I hollered. I'm sorry. Um, so, somebody tell us, look and see how old uh, Aline, I don't know, know her last name. Yes, yeah, she passed away last week. And, um, but I don't know about Aline. She may have already passed on. I don't remember. Stitching with the housewives. Okay, Trudy, I'm going to have to look that up. Are they on Facebook or YouTube or where are they? Because, you know, I love me some cross stitch and they'll get me started back into cross stitch and like I need another hobby. I'm already trying to sew stuff. They've learned, yeah, HGTV is all about house flipping to me now, and it used to not be. It used to be about all kinds of things, and now it's, they just flip houses, and it's like, well, you've seen one, you've about seen them all, or designing pools. Design on a dime is good, but I want to see some, like, crafting and some Mod Podging. You know, Carol Duvall, she used to be the Mod Podge queen. They'd have somebody on their Mod Podging every week or every day. She would do... Mod Podge and Napkins. Donna Dewberry. Yes, she is awesome. Now, I'm upset that I can't paint like Donna Dewberry. But um, if y'all know who Donna Dewberry is, she's the one-stroke artist. So she mixes her paint on her brush, and she'll do those pretty little swirls and those flowers and those leaves. And the paint's already kind of blends together as she's painting it because she strategically placed it on her paintbrush like that. So, if you don't know who Donna Dewberry is, go to YouTube and look her up, and you'll just be fascinated. Precious moments, Grandma, Grandpa, and Mama. Oh, that's so cute. So, I'm going to have to watch Stitching Housewives or something. You may have to message me, Trudy, and tell me who that is again, because, you know, I'll forget by the time that's over. Yeah, Donna Dewberry is fantastic. I, I don't even know. I, I just don't even... She has just got... Of course, she has a lot of practice now. If I practiced it for years like she has, I'd be good too, but not as good as her. But yeah, she she like puts like white on one side and purple on the other side of her paintbrush and she loads it that way. And then she goes over here and she goes whoop, whoop. And it's like a little flower petal and it's one, she just does one stroke. That's it. She doesn't go out and paint. Oh, she passed in 2015. I thought she had. Um, but yeah, so if you don't know who Donna Dewberry is, when we get done, you gotta go watch Donna Dewberry. You'll be mesmerized the rest of the night on YouTube watching her. It's so, it's just fantastical. It's amazing. And you're like, oh, she makes it look so easy. I can do that. No, boo, you can't. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> no, you think you can, but you really can't. You, you, you just gonna have to practice a few hours or weeks or months or years to get that like that. I promise. It looks really easy. Tammy, I didn't either. I didn't know she was that old. Of course, I never even thought about it. Because, you know, she just kind of dropped off the earth and we didn't know what happened to uh, Carol. They just kind of, you know, her show went off the air and we quit recording it. And, okay, on to the next person. So, we didn't know. She doesn't come, doesn't come out right. She's amazing. Yes, she is. So, y'all look up Donna Dewberry when you don't have anything to do. And you're going to be like, oh, I can totally do that. I can, I can paint like that. And you're going to get the paint. You're going to get, which is just regular paint and brushes. But it's, she's been doing it for 25, 30 years. Um, all right, so this is traditional burnt umber and I'm gonna try I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in some water I think because I'm gonna in this orange water I'm gonna just get a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna try to just go in my little the little ribs or ridges or them things y'all know what they are I just don't want it to look so solid so I'm kind of thinning out my paint 
trying to pretend like I'm Donna Dewberry. <laughs> no. Yes, Jacqueline, it, it, it is a lot, an art to it for sure. She, um, and she puts that, is it floating medium or something in her paint and it makes it flow better or something. So that is a, a thing too. So if she doesn't just use it straight out of the bottle. I think she puts floating medium in it, I believe. All right. So see, I'm just kind of doing my little, um, my little, uh, ridges, ribs, those little lines. <laughs> yeah, Ellen, it's, it looks, she makes it look so easy. That's the thing. And when you watch her do it, you're like, oh, I can do that. That's no big deal. Wrong. Until you get that brush in your hand and you're like, oh, wait now. How did she do that now? She just flicks her wrist and makes a little leaf over here and a little leaf over there. And you're like, my leaf looks like a amoeba. <laughs> Did I cut my finger? Oh, no, I didn't cut my finger at all. Nope. I, I thought I was going to for a second. I was like, oh, somebody's going to tell me I'm going to cut my hand again. After my finger finally healed. And it's a big knot right there. Because, like I said, it probably needed a stitch or two. I miss those shows, too. And I learned so much from those people. And they would have... I can remember watching Carol Duvall. And she would have people on... And she would go, oh, this is so-and-so from Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, what's Hobby Lobby? I had no idea because that was before we really had internet. And it was before, um, so see, there's some of my little lines, how they're coming out. So see, that's what they look like. See, that's what they look like before. And then I'm just kind of doing that. Um, Donna Dewberry, Lena, Lena. Like, dew on the ground is Dewberry. But... I can remember wondering what in the world Hobby Lobby was because I didn't know. We didn't have one by where we lived, and that's been, gosh, 25 years ago or more. And I'm like, what is Hobby Lobby? And then I finally figured it out. Um, one step paint class at Michael's, I did pretty good. It's definitely wrist action. Yes, Karen, it is. And they, they, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have it, I don't guess. Probably like crocheting. It's like it's not going to happen for me. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to tell yourself it's just not going to happen for me. This is not my, my thing and my wheelhouse. And I'm not, I'm just going to have to face the facts that I'm not going to be a one-stroke painter. I'm not going to be a crocheter. But when you watch Donna Dewberry, she has you totally convinced that you can do it. Stick man. <laughs> I learned about her when I worked at Hobby Lobby no, back in 95. Yes. Ben Franklin Craft Store. See, I've only been in a Ben Franklin once because and it was in St. Louis. Um, I made my husband stop and say, I'm going in there. I don't have one and I'm going in there. And it was pretty cool. They had a lot of stuff that I'd never seen before or, you know, brands or whatever. It has changed. Oh, see, Melinda, that's how I feel too. And, you know, it's, it's Facebook has given all of us people, you know, creators and stuff to get on here and just be like me and you and do this without some big production team and a, and a, um, on television and, you know, it's access for everybody can watch if you want to. And, you know, it's opened up so many avenues. And and I'm very thankful for it because I wouldn't know all of y'all. Right, Sandra? I, it's just not... I've tried it a couple of times and I can get the hang of it. But I just... I, you know, all of my stitches are all different sizes. And I, the tension is what I can't do on crochet. And I just have to say it's not going to happen for me. It's not going to be, um, it's not my craft. You know, we just, you just have to be real with yourself sometimes and be like, okay, it's not going to happen for you. They're going to get the gong out and gong you off the stage. It's just not going to happen. Just go on. Just bow your head and go on. Just admit it. You can't do it. <laughs> Oh, but even though you want it so bad, it's just not going to happen. Okay, so there's all my little 
my little lines. Oop, did I miss that one? Oh, I missed one. I missed one. See, I don't see it until I show it to the camera and I'm like, oh Lord, I missed it. And you don't have to do this part. I'm just trying to give him a little bit of character and that just kind of adds to him a little bit. But, and all in all, I'm going to probably come in here and take a little of it away just because. I was like, why don't you do that? I don't know. <laughs> You're a known name in my household. My great granddaughter's called you the turquoise Valentine's Day lady. <laughs> That's funny. You'd be surprised at how many people, like, if I had to call, like, about something, they'll go, Valentine, how do you spell that? And I'm like, did they not teach you that in school? V-A-L. It's Valentine's Day. And they still ask me, well, how do you spell that? Never too late to learn. Yeah, you can try to learn crochet. By all means, y'all try it. And if you want to paint like Donna Dewberry, go right on ahead. But I'm just telling you, she makes it look easy. Okay. She's trying to sell them brushes and stuff. She makes it look easy. And it might, you might pick it up and it might be your thing. Oh, I done took off the paint. Took it off to the white down there. Okay. Um, and you might pick up the paintbrush and be, be the best one stroke painter you've ever seen. Then again, might not. See how he looks? His little, um, hey, Erica. Um, but I do think. Let's do something else. I'm going to try to go back. I'm just Y'all, I'm just playing. I told y'all I didn't have any rhyme or reason why I was doing what I'm doing. I'm just in here. I'm just out here painting him the best way I know how. <laughs> I'm just kind of going in with some more. I'm just kind of lightening his face up a little bit. You can crochet. See, Carol can crochet. I can't crochet. It's just not going to happen. Which, now I got to do the ones on the lid and do the stem. The stem. It's a stem. Uh, oh, your Bryn Franklin closed two months ago. Oh, my goodness. And see, we don't have them here. They just don't, I just don't think it's a thing in the South. Because I've never seen one until I went to St. Louis a few years ago. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Oh, but yeah, I want to know if y'all go and watch Donna Dewberry. I'm telling you, she's fantastical, and she is. She's on the every once in a while they'll have her on. Uh, if you follow the Plaid P L A I D, uh, like Plaid Paints, if you follow their Facebook page, they have her on their live, or they'll have her videos on there. And I don't know about live. Maybe I'm going a little stretched that far, but. They'll have her on there, her videos or something, and she'll be showing how to do it with their paint and stuff and their brushes and all that. And I'm just, I'm like, oh gosh, there she goes again. It looks so easy. Because I've tried it. Okay, so there's my lid. So see, I got them, all those just kind of painted. Tool, tool painting. What is that? I do know what that is. Somehow, some way, I've heard of that before. Uh, find my brush. Let's do this one. Giggling stem. Who? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna paint the stem. So now I don't want to paint it that burnt umber. That's so dark. I'm gonna paint it this brown. I got to go on a pop shelf today, so for the first time. Yes, Brenda, it's really cool, isn't it? I like pop shelf. I haven't been in one in a while. It's in Memphis, so I don't get up that way very much. Um, yeah, Donna has a YouTube channel. She does. Um, I don't know if she still does stuff on there, but I do know she has a page. And it's, like I said, y'all gonna be up sitting up late tonight and don't blame me. <laughs> Watching, um, uh, Donna Dewberry paint flowers and you're gonna be like, oh, I can do this. But try it if you want to try it. I mean, you might be good at it. Mr. Stem looks so sad tonight. Look, he's getting, he's getting his brown paint. Um, don't come at me. <laughs> but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little white in my brown. Um, so I can lighten it up a little bit in spots. Don't paint the appendage blue. 
Okay. My goal here is to cover up all the white because I don't want to see any of that, um, the clay. I don't want to see the white clay. So I'm painting it, painting it brown. How do you spell her last name? Nancy is like D-E-W, like do on the ground, and then Barry, B-E-R-R-Y, I believe. Or if you just type in one stroke painting, it will come up too. She'll come up because she's like the master of it. I think she's the, um, she invented the technique, I think. So, but she, when you see it, you'll know what, you'll know what it is when you see it because people paint it on um, the, like wine glasses and stuff like that because it's not like she sits there and paints. It's just like one stroke and she's made a leaf or, or a flower petal or something. So, um, it's, it's really cool though, how she blends her paint on her brush. Okay, look, Lynn's got her, her Instagram up there. Um, yeah, she, so she has, I guess she's on all, she's probably on Facebook too, I'm sure. But I don't know, she's got to be getting up there too, y'all, in age. I don't know how old she is, y'all can look it up and see, but she's got to be getting on up there. She's been doing it a long time. Okay, so this is going to look like a stem in just a minute. Oh, we're going to make it through this live, right? <laughs> hey, Doreen. I said, shut up, Robin. <laughs> Robin, you're grounded. <laughs> you're so funny. Okay, so see, now there's my pumpkin stem. It looks like a piece of poo-poo now. Okay, so I'm going to put some white and I'm just going to kind of, while it's still wet, I'm going to try to be like Donna Dewberry and just make some little, it just mixes in with that brown and just kind of gives it some dimension of the stem. You'll see. It doesn't look that white on the camera, but I'm gonna blend this in just a little bit more. But it lets that, just kind of gives your stem a little bit of dimension. Like, it doesn't, I promise you it's not that white. Gosh, that looks white on camera. It really isn't. It's just make a brown like a lighter brown okay i promise y'all it doesn't look like that <laughs> it doesn't look that bad on there um in real life i don't know why it looks like that okay so there's my stem okay all right so we're done with that i think i'm done with him um thought it would be green well becky let's put on some green how about it because yeah the leaf is going to be green right i forgot about my leaf this is, I just picked two of my darkest greens. This is avocado, and then I have crocodile in folk art. And they're just like an olive green color. That's what I chose. Oh, timber. Dark green to the stem. Okay, let me dry it a little bit. And we'll put some green. What is happening over here? I don't know what's happening. Okay. So I'm just going to put some green in there. I did. I put brown lid. I put brown lines on the lid. I did. Uh, Kathy, I made this jar. Uh, well, I didn't make the jar. The jar um, is from a pineapple spears from Sam's that I ate. Or my family and I ate and I covered it last week I covered it with this air dry clay and I made it look like a pumpkin so it's a jar and this is the lid to the jar that I covered with clay and made a stem on the top for the top and now we're painting it because it has to dry for a couple days or more depending on how thick your clay is 
And uh, Darla, they are good. They are very good. I'm gonna put some of this crocodile out here because that's kind of a little bit green for me, but. Is that better now I got green? Okay. Kind of green. Let me put some brown there. Okay, so there's my stem. So now I'm gonna paint the leaf. So here's my little leaf. We made it looks like a duck foot. <laughs> okay, Karen's telling them what it is. Karen's the one that got us in trouble last week. Karen's, Karen was the troublemaker on the bus last week. <laughs> oh, Karen, that Karen. I'm gonna do a little brown and then I'm gonna do some green. Just gotta cover all the white. I don't want any of that white to show. There's some burnt umber, we'll get that under there. It does look good, doesn't it? I think it's looking good. We'll see once we, I gotta clean his eyes and we're gonna put some moss around the stem and put some trindles or tendril, trindles. <laughs> <laughs> Last week was epic, Vicky. It was hilarious. Um, Karen took over and started driving the bus, and she, yeah, she got us in trouble on the bus. <laughs> oh, that bus went right off in the ditch. <laughs> and we went off right off in the gutter. Is probably a better word for me to say. <laughs> she cut the face out. Yeah, last week, you can watch the live. If you just want to see the stem part, just get to the part. Just fast forward to the stem. Oh, Gail is just is organizing her craft room. Good for you, make top, make, make, uh, metallic. I'm trying to talk, Stephanie. Yes, I have copper and stuff out here, and I think I'm going to add a little bit. I oh, can't hold this because it's wet. Um, I think I'm going to add some. Maybe some copper or some, I have some metallic green out here. I have some metallic uh, brown, copper. I have all of those colors out here. Cause I couldn't just, I, like I said, I really didn't have it in my mind exactly what I wanted to do to this guy, but I was like, it's just gonna be what it's gonna be. All right, so there's my leaf. Oh, that's a big white spot there. I see it when I hold it up. It's, it's the strangest thing. It's like, oh, it's fine here. And then I hold it up and I'm like, what? Okay, so there's my leaf. Some brown up here. It looks too green. I still see white spots. Just keep painting until you have no white. If that's even a thing. Okay, so there's my leaf. So I'm going to set it over here and let it dry. And I better leave that brush out because I might need it my water lots of water okay oh it's okay Carolyn yeah you can come back and watch I'm just painting this little guy so I have this copper this is just straight copper and every paint company has their own shade and own color um, and let's see that's copper this is antique copper See, it's like a darker color. It, it, it's just, you know, worn. there's one over here called Worn Penny. I kind of like the Worn Penny. But I was thinking about putting a little bit on him, maybe. But I'm trying to decide which one. Let's do Worn Penny. Dot rubbing the stem. Cotton, rub, and buff. Copper rubbing, but I don't have any copper. That's the bad part. Um, I have, um, I have gold. I just don't have copper, but I have copper, copper paint. Where's, okay, scissors. What's the silver behind the face? It's glass. The silver behind his face is glass. He is a jar. So it just looks silver on the camera, I guess. So we want him to be able to light up. So I'm trying not to cut my fingers off. Now I'm scared to death. When I cut stuff with these scissors, I'm gonna cut myself wide open again. There we go. All right, so this is Worn Penny. Evidently I didn't shake this up enough. Where is it? Let's 
because that, that clear stuff came out with it. There we go. Let me get some. So that's what color it is. So, so yeah, this is a jar. See? That's why it looks silver, because it's glass. Found the jar. Oh, you found the jar of pineapples. Yay, Stacy! You gonna put some Malibu in yours? So I'm just gonna dab, like dab on, dab off kind of deal. Cause I don't wanna cover the whole thing with it. I just want a little bit. Cause y'all know I love this metallic. So I'm just putting it on and kinda putting it right back off. So you can't, it's just kinda giving it a sheen. See how over here it looks like that and this over here looks like this? Yep, you sure are. <laughs> I didn't try that with mine. I guess I need to. Let's get over here. So I'm just kind of dabbing on. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. And adding another layer, as Mandy would say. Thank you, Sandra. See some white I'm trying to cover up. So, like I said, I'm just putting it on and then kind of wiping it off just so it won't be just solid copper. This is called, um, uh oh, Robin. <laughs> Y'all stop. <laughs> Robin's gonna drive the bus today and she's gonna get us in trouble on the bus. Come get us in trouble on the bus. All right. So I'm just kind of dab, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. So it's just kind of faint. But this is called Worn Penny, and it is Deco Art Metallic, Dazzling Metallics. Okay, so I just... So you can kind of see how it's got a little sheen to it. He looks fancy now. He's all, he's all coppered up a little bit. Just a little bit. Where's the lid? Oh, there's the lid. Still see white on my stem. See all of those little white spots? Um, Judy, it's not bad heavy at all. Now I'm covering up these spots, y'all. Because I see white spots on my stem. And I don't like it. Um, it's not that heavy. I mean, it adds some weight to it, but it's not bad. Now it just looks like a, it's all green. I almost said something and I caught myself because y'all would have, y'all would have laughed and died at the same time. So see, I just covered up all those little white spots that I could see. Yes, did you find this jar? So this one I got from Dollar Tree and it's very similar, it's just smaller. But you can do this with any jar, y'all. Don't think you gotta have this jar. This is just the jar that I happen to have. And I like saved it because I thought it was a cool shape because it's square and not round. You think it would be round, pineapples are round and they put the pineapple in the jar and it's, they didn't ask me. <laughs> it's like, oh, that needs a round jar. That needs a square jar, that needs a round jar. I don't know how they come to the conclusion of these things, but they didn't ask me about the jar size of the pineapple spears. But seems like it would have been in a round jar. But it was a cool square jar, and I kept it because my family is like, "Do you want to keep this?" I'm like, "Yes, don't throw that away. I want to wash it." Oh, thank you, Linda. Okay, so I put a little copper on there. So see, it just gives it this little sheen. It's not too much. Just enough to kind of catch the light a little. So I think, and then I have this green. I don't know what this is gonna look like, but we're gonna see. But it's Anita's and it's lime green, but I don't know what this is gonna look like. It may be too lime green. <laughs> I don't know. But we're going, we're about to find out. Oh no, look at that, it looks good. Just adds a little something, something to it. So I'm just kind of, not doing it real heavy. I'm just like almost dry brushing it over the, just the high parts of the stem. 
just the high parts. Okay. Hopefully y'all can see it, but it's just like gives it a little bit of, see, a little bit of sheen. And you're not really going to be able to see a lot of this because I'm going to cover it up with stuff when we, when we get finished with um, all of this. Because we got to clean up his little eyes. Look how pretty and metallic he looks from way back there. Yay, look how pretty he looks. See? Y'all can tell the copper now so you can see it. So it's just a little bit. Yeah, just get jars out of your refrigerator when you, your thrift stores, anywhere. You can use any kind of jar, cannon jar. Um, any kind of jar will work. Okay. So now we got to clean his little, oh, I just touched that. Um, I know I love the green on it too. And that's lime green Anita's. And everybody says they're marking this down to like 59 cents at Hobby Lobby. But see, just that little bit of metallic. So I'm going to clean his eye. See all that in there? And I'm probably going to end up making some white spots, but I'm hoping not. So you can take your little exacto knife or whatever you have. And if you need to, you can scrape some of it off of the glass. If you got it on the glass and there's just like a little part that's kind of keeping you from obscuring your view a little bit. Kind of like, I feel like I'm a dentist and I'm, when do we say Her, Herbie, Hermie, Hermie. Hermie was that he wanted to be a dentist. So I'm, I'm playing a dentist again and I'm picking his teeth with this. <laughs> I feel like I'm a dentist. Um, so I'm just kind of going around his teeth and scratching if I got any of the clay on the glass and it'll just come right off the glass. <sighs> so got that so what i do you can do this with water i'm gonna do this with um they have very little left judy oh my that that hurts my heart because i love anita's paint all right so i'm just gonna take a q-tip and this is just alcohol and i'm gonna clean his little eyes we're gonna make it to where he can see and the light of day can shine through um our little light that we're gonna put in there he looks all clean he don't, he don't have cloudy vision. A top and alcohol. I use a brush. Hey, Barbara. Yes, I'm live. I didn't go live last night. Um, I don't think I'm getting it wet. Yeah. Because um, my son had a thing with the football team he had to do. Meet the Tigers at school. So I didn't get to go live. Let me dentist your teeth. <laughs> your grandson says, let me dentist your teeth. That's cute. The stuff they come up with is hilarious. So funny. So I'm just kind of cleaning all that mess up. You could have a pumpkin with glasses. I could. Glasses. You could make glasses for your pumpkin. He could have braces too. You could be an orthodontist and a dentist and put some braces on his teeth. Like he needs some braces and have his teeth all, all straightened up. What little teeth he has. This is the kind of stuff I wonder about it. Like when I'm laying in the bed at night and I can't sleep, like I'm sure the most of probably y'all are the same way. I can't have Jack Lantern with cataracts. <laughs> um, hey, Marilyn. So who do y'all think it was the very first time that said, hey, I'm going to take this pumpkin over here and I'm going to cut this, some triangles in it and I'm going to cut a mouth with a few teeth and we're going to put a candle inside of it. Like, who, who decided that? Who was the first person that did that? Exactly. I mean, I don't know. I guess it was somebody creative like us, and they just said, hey, let's try this and see if this works. Now I done got my fingernail and scraped some of my paint off. Okay, so there's this little... He's kind of clean. He looks better than he did until I look in the camera, and I'm like, oh, he's got something over here. But... Y'all know, I mean, who, who do y'all think did that um, first? Like, or who, or like my husband said before, who do you think, like, took some water and just said, well, I'm just going to pour it over these beans, and I'm going to drink this stuff, and we're going to call it coffee. Like, you know, I mean, there's a first time for everything. Can't you just see him saying, I'm not drinking that stuff. You're going to die. 
See, he looks so cute. See, he's all clean, which I could clean him a little more because you can just keep going and going and going and, you know, how it is. It was a crafty mom, Betsy Ross. <laughs> it probably was. Poor old Betsy. She sat there and stitched on that flag, sang the Star Spangled Banner. No, I don't know if she sang it or not, but she. you like to think that she's rocking in her chair and she was stitching that flag, singing the Star Spangled Banner. I don't know. <laughs> oh, y'all. Egg from a chicken. Yeah, and said, so let's eat this. Let's just cook this egg up. Came out of a chicken. Let's cook it up and see if it's good. Who invented fire? Right, Beverly? I don't know. I guess lightning may have struck. All right. So hopefully this is dry. I guess lightning struck and then it made a fire. I don't know. And they said, hey, let's cook some stuff over this. Let's take an egg and cook it over the fire and see how that is. Yes, Karen, you're going to have to make one or two or three or ten and have a whole army. Because I've got a bunch of little ones somewhere that I did last year. Um, okay, he's stinking cute. All right, let me make sure. I don't know if this is the way how my... See, i got to put it back on the same way that I did the lines. That's not it. To where the stem... There it is. The stem is going to line up with my top. <laughs> that looks super cool. I don't care who you are. I think it looks super cool and fantastic. Um, but I'm not done because I got to put, oh, I got to put some green paint on my leaf. I forgot about ah, the green. See how dull it looks? And we're just going to kind of brush it with some of this metallic paint. And I'm going to wipe it right back off some of it because I don't want it to be just totally covered with my green, but don't he look cool? It looks so cool. I'm, I, I can't wait till y'all do it and I wanna see all of yours. Cause I know y'all are gonna have a whole little army cause you can't make just one. Cause I have, like I said, I have a bunch of little ones. I got kind of carried away with it. It may have been two years ago. It may not have been last year. I can't remember y'all. It runs together. That's the coolest craft ever. What does the video? What does it end? What? Trying to dry my leaf. Um, I done made a white spot over here. Okay. So there's the leaf. Don't it look better? See, it doesn't look just so flat and dull looking. I just kind of brushed it over. That's not white. That's, that's white. Now, you can seal this, and I can't say that I won't seal it. A long list of items, Deborah. right? Yay, Vicky's got her clay, and it's on sale at Hobby Lobby this week, so y'all don't miss out on the sale because I don't think they put it on sale very often that I'm aware of. But, you know, they've changed things in recent months or so, so I'm not real sure. So my leaf is going to go... When it dried, it literally dried. I just laid the leaf there. When I left y'all, he sat here all weekend... And his, the leaf literally dried on it like this. So, um, that's where the leaf is just going to go. Because it's it's already got like a little place for it there. So, I'm going to get out this Gorilla Glue that's got 14 drops in it. I won't buy this again, y'all. I really won't. I love their hot glue. But there was literally like not even half in this bottle when I bought it. And I'm so disappointed that okay let's just do this let's put it where it goes y'all can't even now it won't even come out it's like oh. it's supposed to be gel well that wasn't gel that just came out of there i don't like it Trying to get everywhere that it sits. All right, so we'll see if that's gonna stay. Lemon curd in it. Yeah, y'all do whatever jar. I used a pickle jar before. Um, any kind of jar is gonna look cool. And you're gonna have all different sizes and shapes and so that's what makes it neat because they're all not gonna be the same. No two are gonna be the same. Okay, so there he is. He's so cool, y'all. 
ah, just a little bit ago, it was white and just plain. Now he is, he looks like something store bought. Okay, I got my raffia out today. Dorothy was sweet and kind enough and tied me a bow. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, because y'all know I don't, I, I, this stuff is just crazy. Um, but I took this today and I took this and I tamed down this from this <laughs> and I straightened it, okay, with my flattening iron so I could wrangle it up. I had it laying over here because I cannot, this stuff right here, this gives me, gives me nervousness. I, it's just a bag of nervousness. Um, stick fast glue. Yes, Vicky, I, I need to get that. And every time I look to get it, it's on Amazon. It's sold out because all the laser people are buy it all the time. Um, never look at the stem the same way anymore. No. So I'm covering this crack up with this because as you can tell, you can see the glass in that crack up there. Well, when you put the light in it, the light's going to show through. So you can put a, you know, some kind of twine or maybe, um, uh, jute or something, but I thought I would try some raffia and just see if it's going to work. You, D Diane uses it to tame her raffia. Yes. Okay. So stick fast uh, glue is like super glue. It's on Amazon. That's the only place I know about it. Only because the laser world people talk about it all the time, but it sells out. Okay. So yeah, I tamed the raffia before I, uh, earlier today when y'all went looking. <laughs> um, Karen, I don't know, but I, it was so upsetting because I paid like $5.99 for this little thing of glue, okay? And literally, the line, when I bought it, it was probably here. So half of it was not not even filled with anything. Um, so I, I don't know what the deal is. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to leave this or not, but we're going to see. All right. So there's, here's this. I don't know y'all if I'm going to leave this. So I'm just trying to see. Someone just posted. Why is it that way? Okay. So I don't know. I don't know. Don't know if I'm going to like this or not, but we're, we're going to, we're experimenting. Um, I'm, I may not even put a bow. I may just leave this, but Dorothy was kind enough to make me one before she left today because she knew I was going to have heart failure trying to make a bow out of raffia today. So I don't know if this is going to stay or not. So we're going to see. Just found the same thing in a tube with a fine tip. Yeah, I use, normally I use, um, super glue gel from Dollar Tree, but I thought, you know, I'll get a big bottle. Uh, I don't even have any right now. I'm out. Um, I just thought, well, I'll just, you know, I'll get the big bottle. I use it all the time. It has, you know, 14 drops in it of glue. Okay. Yes or no? Does he look like he's got a hippie headband or should I leave it on there? Yeah, I started buying the, um, yeah, it does still open. I'm going to put a candle in it. I thought I had a pack over here somewhere. I got caught, but no super glue. Anyway, I bought something at Harbor Freight, too, so I do have some of that. No on the raffia. Primitive cloth check like a scarf. So, should I take this off? It needs a bow. You like it without. I really like him without the raffia. Okay, or should I move it to the other side where the leaf is? Maybe that's better. Um, right, Rita? It's $5 for that little, this little thing. And it has 0.53 ounces is what it says it has in here. This little container is more than 5.3 ounces. And it ain't, it's not full, I promise. It looks better without. It's too thick. Leave it on there. I should have put the light in it is what I should have done. 
Okay, so yes, for y'all asking, it does open. Just be careful of your stem because if you turn it too hard and you, you know, you can take your, you know, take the stem out, <laughs> it'll come off. Okay, everybody's saying off. <laughs> All right, so I just have, I don't even know this came in something, on something. I don't know. That's where I got it from. But, y'all, this box is super cute. But I have these too. I got these out because I thought, Oh, my stars. I love him, he said. Without the raffia, I like it on that side. Because I'm, I'm worried that when it's dark, that's gonna, that little line of light is going to show. This is Hobby Lobby's. I think I may have gotten it last year. I don't know. But it has a timer. Are you serious? It's got a... Are you going to make me undo the screw so I can get to the batteries? Yes, it is. It's got a screw here. I think it's going to make me undo before I take the battery case off. Without, without. Okay. Okay. I may just take it off, y'all. I don't know. If you don't want to break the stem. Yep, we don't want to break the stem. Y'all, I cannot get the back off. I took the screw out. Oh. This package says... Oh. It does say three double A's. Lee only has two double A's. So, <laughs> ain't happening. <laughs> so, it's going to have to go with, um, not normally a fan of those colors, but it's super cute. And Diane, you can paint it whatever color you want to paint it. Um, I just wanted to make it look a little realistic. And I wish I could turn off this light so y'all could see him. But I'll take pictures of him in the dark so you can see. But this... Is so doable. Y'all can do this. Um, but I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. With the light. So you're going to be able to see. Which I could go back with the light on. And. There it goes. And I could paint. Where you see that light. So you can see. Yeah. Somebody just said. Lenore said can you paint it. Yeah. So see you can see that light through there. That's the only reason I wanted to put something there. But I'm, I was scared to get my clay up too high because then you couldn't get the lid on and off. Um, but he is, if I get back here, y'all can really see the light, how he shines. But I'll take a picture of him in the dark. But he is so cool. And see, this one would be the next size down. This is Dollar Tree's thing. And then this is that pineapple jar. So I don't want to throw jars away. But if you're just hopping on and you're wondering what I used... Doss Clay, Air Dry Clay from Hobby Lobby. It's on sale this week, 40% off. No, I'm not paid by Hobby Lobby. <laughs> but um, that's where I get mine, and it hardly ever goes on sale. So I will be going to Hobby Lobby this week to get some. Um, yeah, I'll just paint that edge up there somehow. I'll paint it. Um, and I could also, you could also paint on the inside, and that would help too. Probably paint on both sides. Um, yeah, Derry and I made those little ones a few years ago, and I have a whole little collection of them. I need to find them somewhere and get them out. Um, but look how cute he is. And then I have, I have this moss, you know, Rafi and moss in the same live. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's, doesn't happen often, but y'all know how I feel about it. I'm always scared it's going to be some critter in this bag of moss. I don't know why, but I could always put... Just put a little bit. I'm not even going to glue it down because I'm going to see how it looks. Because I'm probably going to take a majority of it off. Just a little around the stem to where, like I did this one over here that's got the moss on it. Sometimes it's the details that make it look, um, looks, looks realistic. But I don't know how it looks on a jack-o'-lantern, but kind of like it without. I think I like him like that. You can see the light. Yeah, you can see the light up through there. And now oh, that's one of my favorite smells in the whole wide world is the smell of a candle burning the top of the pumpkin. I love the way it smells. Thin ribbon. Yeah, I have ribbon. Y'all know I have everything. I have jute. And it might take even more than just going around. But I'll probably just paint it. And that way I would for sure be um, getting it. That's probably what I'll end up doing. 
paint on the inside, paint on the off. Raffia is growing on you. <laughs> but the bow, I think, would be, I think that would be way too much. But thank you, Dorothy, for making me a bow, because she knew I was going to have a heart attack trying to do it. Oh, tendrils. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Jill? Yes. Jill said tendrils. Tendrils. But see, I don't know. I don't know. But where are my tendrils? I showed y'all how to make tendrils, uh, what, a week or so ago. At like this. Tendrils. So, dowel rod, wrap it with saran wrap, and Take your jute and put it in a little bowl or something with some Mod Podge in there and get it saturated and just kind of get off the excess, but then wrap it around the dowel, let it dry, and then pull it off of the saran wrap because that keeps it from sticking and you're going to have tendrils like this. And you can kind of squish them and you can stretch them out, do all kinds of things with them. Um that so let's I'm gonna hot glue these on the best way I can because I'm gonna try to have to hide the hot glue because I don't want a big blob of hot glue st st sticking on my on my my pumpkin now can't be having some tacky glue on the top no for the raffia Nancy yes this is the painting session I made him last week and he had to dry I think he looks like a hippie with a headband with that raffia, y'all. I can't help it when I look in the camera. I'm like, he looks like he's got a headband. <laughs> um, can't unsee that now. All right, so so there's one tendril. Look how cute. Leave the raffia. Everybody's like, no raffia. Leave the raffia. No raffia. I'm not sure on the tendrils. Oh, Vicky, come on. We got to have a little tendrils. Got to have just a little bit. See, look how cute the tendril looks. <laughs> Happy Hippie Halloween. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Happy Hippie Halloween. All right, maybe that's a little too much. We'll calm down the tendrils. Wrap jute around the neck and make a bow on the end. Ooh, I might have to do that. I think I'm going to paint it first, just to be sure. I don't like it showing, but that hot glue, there's no way around keeping it from showing. Mr. Screwdriver is helping me with my hot glue assisting. All right, let's see. I just pulled it straight off there and pulled the clay right with it. All right, let me hold it and stretch my tendril this way. All right, so there he is. Look, <laughs> he's so cute. He does. He looks. He looks like ceramic. I mean, and it's it is heavy, but it's not. Um, hey, Josephine, you're watching us live. He is so cute, though. But I really hope y'all try this. Um, yeah, Judy, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I'll paint the inside, and then I'll probably paint um, on the outside a little bit. Let's see. Let's just let's just take care of it right now. How about that? We'll just do it right now. Let me get some of this orangey color. Cause you're not gonna see the inside, right? You're just gonna see. Um. You'll just see through the glass, and you'll see orange. But nobody's gonna be looking inside of there. So I don't really worry if it's tacky on the inside, cause nobody's gonna see it but you when you turn the light off. But if you get the little pack like I got, those little fairy lights, you can leave the battery pack back here. And it actually, those have a timer and they go off after a certain length of time, which is kind of cool. Okay, so I painted that. Now I have to wait until it dries. But I'm not going to put, yeah, I can put the lid on because it's on the outside. All right, so that helps some. So if I go back and put another coat, see, you, can, you can't even tell now. See? It looks better. So anyway. Oh, you're welcome, Tammy. I just hate that it took two nights, but, you know, we had to wait for it to dry. 
Um, all your candles are timers. So see, they, um, this would probably be brighter, but I gotta have another battery. Cause I thought it said two and it says three. Okay. And, um, you know, it has all those little bunches of light. It has 36. I think I got this when Hobby Lobby had all the Christmas on sale. And these are good to have for different things. But then I can just turn it on and it says six hours on, 18 hours off. So, like, if you turn it on at four, I guess it remembers the next, when you turn it on, it stays on for six hours and it goes off. You know, it comes on the same time. I don't know. I guess. You like the paint around the neck the best? I'm trying to let it dry. I'm trying to get it to dry. So I can just shut it up. <laughs> it is. It's so stinking cute. It's stinky cute, Vicky. <laughs> you don't like the tendrils? Lay them down a little bit. Okay. I'll smash them down. After a second coat, draw a black rip. Yes. So you can't see the thing. Yes. So y'all be sure and post it. In. You know, I have a group associated with my page. It's called the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And please post your stuff in there because I want to see them. Yeah, the paint around the lid helped, I think. Okay, tendrils. Somebody said they're, they're out of control. Tendrils are out of control. Tendrils are out of control. All right, so I cut it down. How about that? Now. I don't even know if I just did that. Yeah, I did it right. Yeah, yeah. There, let's see. Very cute. I'm trying to get this one to lay down. But, and, you know, come down like this. Okay, that's better. So now it's going down that way. How about that? That's better. Thank you, Dana, for that out there. Try it. Y'all try this. It's not hard. I, pr I promise you, if you can flatten the clay like you're making biscuits or something and wrap it on this jar the way I showed you, and you can cut out triangles in a mouth like you do on a real jack-o'-lantern, y'all can do this. Um, it's so fun, and you're going to have, you'll make several <laughs> um, better. Yes. So, see, you can't see the line up here anymore. Yes. But I'll probably will paint another coat on there when it dries really good. Yes, Judy, you want to see yours? Probably saw them when I did them before, but I've forgotten and it's all like new again. <laughs> the lights turn on every day at the same time and they stay on for six hours. Okay. So cool. Will the clay stick to plastic? Um, I don't know. I've never tried it, so but the only thing is, is that when you have plastic, like let's say we put clay on this and then you did this, or it moved a little bit, the clay is going to crack uh, and break because it is like plaster after it dries. Um, so I would be scared to put it on something plastic unless it was really, really rigid plastic. I'd be scared to. Like um, something like this, you know, this doesn't have a lot of give to it, a little bit, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's this very um, rigid plastic. It might would work, but... I would, anything that's kind of like this, the clay would just crack. Night, Tammy. Waiting on mine to dry. <laughs> y'all are a mess. <laughs> that's all I can say is y'all are a mess. But we made it through, and uh, my little light's down in there, fly, sliding around. But you can get those lights at Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere, really. But I can't wait to see y'all's. He needs one more tendril on numbers. Yes, I know, Tammy, he does, but I don't want to overdo it on the tendril, tendrils. No, you can do it. I don't know who said that, but you can do it. Um, and it's so much fun. It is. I love working with the clay. Yes, Tanja, they want to make one. Five grandkids want to make this. Absolutely. They will have a ball. Lots of cashew containers that shape from Costco. I will see if it's rigid enough. It might be, Diane. You can try it and just see. I've never done it, but I would just think it would, you know, um, it, you know, it's going to crack if the plastic gives a little bit. Robin, you're grounded. You're going to throw you off the bus. <laughs> you're 
You and Karen both are gonna get, y'all gonna get thrown off the boat. <laughs> yeah, I know I love y'all, I'm just kidding. Yeah, y'all all do when I'm post them, I wanna see. But you know, if you just wanted for fall, you could do this side for fall. Have you a little tag that hangs off that says, happy fall, y'all. Or you could even put wording on here, whatever you wanna do and have a tag. And it just be a pumpkin. And then when it gets to be Halloween time, you can put this out for your kids, your grandkids, and turn it around. And then you can turn it back around till Thanksgiving and you put out your Christmas. So it's kind of versatile, which you can reverse and do front and back. Uh, Carolyn, for the lines, I use traditional burnt umber, the little cracks. In between. And I, I, I dipped my brush in water first, but I did traditional burnt umber, but it's like a dark brown. But and then I kind of wiped a little bit of it out. Just, just use what you got. You just make you some dark brown. <laughs> Karen, can you swear you wasn't the first to comment about it last week? <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> um, no odd numbers. I will go with Robin and Karen. <laughs> y'all got friends. I'm kidding. Y'all know I love y'all. Um, it's so funny. Y'all are just hilarious. Um... Oh, number 12, granddaughter in January. Congratulations. I'm having my first granddaughter in November, and I'm so excited. End of October, 1st of November. Um, yeah, so it's reversible. Tendril hanging down looks like an Elvis curl. <laughs> He's got that 50s look going on. <laughs> yes, y'all try to make this, because this is so much fun. I absolutely love it. Can you show the clay one one? Oh, the clay one more time. I can. And if you go back on my page, it'll, uh, there's a picture of the, of the white pumpkin and then the clay sitting next to it so everybody would know. Keep it in a bag because like me, I left it out the other night and this part right here is hard. It dried up on me. And I was like, oh gosh, I left it out. I thought the whole block was going to be... Um, Tina's like, don't throw me off the bus. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, that's the kind of clay it is. They have it at Hobby Lobby. It's on sale 40% off this week is what uh, everybody's telling me. I haven't looked at the ad, but I'm going to have to go get me some because I have that block. I usually kind of keep a couple on hand because when I get an idea about something, I like to just have it on hand because I use this clay a lot. Uh, I love, love, love um, the, that clay. And you can if you don't have something... Get that clay out and make it. If you don't have any robin eggs for your bird nest in the spring, get that clay out and make you some robin eggs. Just roll them on up, make you a little robin eggs. That's what I had to do this year because um, I didn't have any small enough that I wanted. So I made me some eggs. We've made all kinds of stuff. Uh, Deborah, if you'll go back and watch this video, if you'll scroll down my page, this was a decanter bottle. I actually show you how to make the tendrils. Um, it's just twine and either white school glue or Mod Podge. And you're going to take a dowel. I don't even know where my dowel is. I may have put it up. But anyway, take a dowel, wrap it with saran wrap. And that's to keep it from sticking to your dowel. And you take um, a little bowl, put you some white school glue or some Mod Podge in it. Take your piece of uh, jute, just your jute like this. Cut a big long piece off and then put it in your Mod Podge and get it saturated and get off the excess. Don't, it doesn't need to be dripping wet. And then you just wrap your dowel and let it dry for a few hours and then you pull it off the saran wrap and the dowel and you'll have this. And then you just cut off what you need to make your, to, you know, when you make your pumpkin crafts, you just cut off what you need. And there are your perfect tendrils. Um, Mary's like, I knew it would be spectacular. I did too. And I know some people were like, oh, I just can't see the vision. I can't see it. And I knew he was going to look fantabulous. But y'all, he would have looked cute pink. He would have looked cute blue. He would have looked cute green or mustard or whatever color I decided to paint him. He would have looked adorable. So you don't have to paint him orange. You don't have to paint him... Y'all, everybody's doing this pastel Halloween. He would look adorable if he was like baby pink. He, he would look, just look so cute. And plus... Uh, breast cancer awareness is in October. Paint him pink. He's adorable. He would be so cute. Or turquoise, yes. Um, turquoise, in that, uh, the blue at Halloween, in that when somebody's, is an allergy, 
or is it they're nonverbal? I can't remember. Oh, six, 26 gauge binding wire is great for tendrils. Yes. Um, that's a good idea too. Yes. Great life. And I have rusty wire that I make them out of too, but the, everybody just pretty much has jute on hand. And that's just simple, especially if you have school glue or if you have Mod Podge. Autism. Okay. I knew it was something. Thank you, Karen. Y'all inspire me too. Y'all really do. Cause sometimes y'all think of stuff that I never thought of. And I'm like, Oh my goodness. Um, Diane, I just kind of brushed it over with a little metallic, that, and then a little green on the leaf, um, on the leaf and the stem, it just has little brushes of it, but yes, I just kind of dabbed on some of that copper and then brushed it right off real quick, and it just kind of gives it that little bitty bit of sheen a little bit, but if you can, um, I think you should seal it. Like, I'm probably going to either take it outside and do the clear spray paint, but I'm trying to think about his eyes. How I would actually do that. Or you could paint it with Mod Podge. Um, paint, that's probably what I'll have to do because of the glass. I don't want to frost his eyes over. <laughs> Trick-or-treating with non-food. Okay, see, some people, some of it's autism or some of it's, when somebody has a peanut allergy or something. I can't remember, but somebody said, I've heard both parts on there didn't need to be pink. Hush, Vicky. Vicky, you're getting thrown off the bus. Get off the bus. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Y'all are so hilarious. Yes, I could mask and tape his eyes, maybe. Be hard to get all that tape in there, but yes. So I'm probably, or Vaseline. Oh, that's a good idea, Stephanie. That's a great idea. I'll do something, or I may just paint Mod Podge over him. Like, he's not like I'm going to have him outside, but that'll just kind of protect my paint a little bit. Um, but yeah, he the whole pumpkin would look cute, adorable, if it was lavender, if it was pink, if it was light blue. It would look so cute. I don't know if y'all have seen the pastel Halloween stuff, but it's adorable. Um, finish your mermaid. Yarn will be here tomorrow for the hair. Yay! It's going to look cute, Sue. You too, Linda. Thank you for being here full in his eyes. Oh, that's a good idea. I could just like mold it to fit in there and then spray it and then take it out. That would be a good idea. Cut paper. Yes. And clear coat it. No more room in the bad bus. <laughs> Y'all are on the bad bus. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Oh my gosh, Jill. Y'all are hilarious. Y'all keep me on my toes and y'all keep me laughing. It's so funny. So anyway, but I'm going to hop off. Um, I can't wait to see y'all's pumpkin because this is one of the best crafts ever. This, this does not look like it came out of my house. Like I made this. <laughs> it looks like something you would see in the store. Good night, Tammy. Especially if you have a whole little family of them. Like, see, this one's going to be smaller and I'll paint him a different color and have like a whole little thing of them they're gonna look so cute so cute fun party bad bus <laughs> y'all are on the y'all are in trouble <laughs> good night jane thank you dolores thank y'all so much for watching i love all of y'all and thank y'all for supporting my page and my dream and my small business and y'all are just the bestest people ever there's this little baby screw i got to put back in there before i lose it um but he's so cute uh, where did you get the clay? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. And it's on sale this week. It's on sale. And they hardly ever put it on sale. It's like on the bottom shelf in the clay aisle. Um, I need some metallic paint. I love metallic, especially in the fall. Um, you too, Ann. Alright, guys. I'm going to hop off, take pictures of this guy, and I will see y'all Thursday night in two nights. So I got to see what we're going to come up with then. So, um, y'all have a good rest of the week. I'll see y'all Thursday. Bye, guys. He's so cute.